Homicide, Dave McDonald. You go out to New York City, find a homeless guy, murder him, Batman snuff rises. Chris Pepper Stanley. Jedi, so much the best better. One. I'm oh. sorry I don't like the second one the best like everyone else. Sean O. Barry. This is what you get in my house. We're spilling paint in the garage. Where do I stutter? Roy Schaefer Harder. Who's ready to Who's don a Yankee, Yankee outfit and bash people's brains and run through the streets? They are the movie experts. They are the movie masters. They are the watchers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yes, sir, indeed. It's our monthly movie show celebrating all things film and a little bit of television mixed in, and we watch it all. My name is Esau Dave McDonald, Davey Mac, and with me as always, Chris Pepper Stanley, yeah. Sean O'Barry, Roy Schaefer Harder. Tonight, special guest, Kevin Segretti, who has done more... Watchers show prep than any of us combined over the entire two year or whatnot that we've been doing this or three years. I don't even fucking know myself. I don't even know how long the Watchers has been in existence, but it's been out there for a long time. August, right, August 2012. It feels like 20 2012. years. 2012. So this Wait, August will be yeah. three years of the Watchers. Oh, Holy 13. mackerel. Yeah. Good. So much is going on in the world of cinema. You can't. Escape the big blockbusterness that's out there. The Avengers Part Two, Age of Ultron. Age, Age of, of Ultron, Ultron is out. Are you going to see it, Chris Pepper Stanley? No. Do you care for those movies? Not at all. You don't like the Avengers. No, what about w- the Incredible Hulk? Well, he w- seems like right up your alley. He's got a lot of pent in rage, and then he explodes. <laughs> I watch. Uh, I watched the right first. Your... I watched the first Avengers. Yes, and uh, I you didn't like got, it. I think I got the gist of the role, every Marvel movie. Yeah, the first Avengers. There was just so many people. Oh, yeah. You're like, okay, and and then then all of a sudden, Iron Man was just such a dick during the first Avengers. You're like, everyone else is signing up for the mission. Even the Incredible Hulk, who doesn't even know what the shit he's doing. Well, I think... Uh, well, what's your fucking problem, he Robert Downey? He's always retiring. Oh, sorry, Tony Stark? He's always retiring from being a superhero. Stop mm. pulling the always retiring goddamn Barbra Streisand act already. I saw the, some It's cli- enough! I saw some clips of the actual movie, and Ultron himself, I think it looks totally ridiculous. Ultron or Voltron? Ultron. Okay, because I only know Voltron. Remember and him? I'll form the head. Yeah, yeah. Voltron. Sean O'Berry, 18 <laughs> points. Yes. They carry over from your Davy Max Sports Program score. Um, does anyone had, had, have you guys even seen the Avengers, Sean or Roy Shafe? I have seen it. You have? I have seen it. Hey, hey, what? Wow. Why are you applauding for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and what's uh, <laughs> what, what's your take on it? Then? I thought it was pretty good. You know, for a comic book movie, I liked it. I All right. it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it had yeah. good action. You know, f- it had funny moments. I thought the, the only my only problem with most action, yeah, uh, or I mean, comic book uh, movies is that the fucking ending is always the same. It's that's always set. Wait in for an, the credits in an urban setting. Right, it's right. always in a city, and then there's a million good guys and bad guys just flying around yeah. each other, yep, hitting no. into buildings. Dumb pedestrians who are still somehow walking on the street, mm. even though the battles ensued for like <laughs> 35 minutes. Yeah. Right. You still see people like carrying groceries, like oh my god, like where were you a half an hour ago yeah. when there was like major fucking giant alien slugs. He's shooting through time and space while fucking uh, the Incredible Hulk punches one of these space slugs in the face. I was at Trader Joe's. Yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying is, but <laughs> 10 seconds into seeing a giant alien space slug like that happened at the end of the Avengers, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm going into the basement of the nearest bodega and locking myself in until shit cools down. <laughs> I'm not still out there. Like, I don't know why these people... That's my one little cinematic critique. It's a flaw. That the director well, should fucking... People would not be still out and about walking around, you know, walk. There's always a woman walking her dog. Yeah. And it's like this huge with battle with flying people shooting lasers out of each other's eyeballs. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's been going on now for about an hour. You can hear that shit. Take cover! <laughs> Get out! Well, my, my, my favorite thing is that the, like, when they're done with all this and they killed all the bad guys, bad s- slugs and whatnot. Yeah, right. 
the city is destroyed, and they're like, hey, we saved the city. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> yeah. No, you just cost the city $9 billion. <laughs> There's tens of you thousands fucks. of people are dead. The Couldn't you have lured the, the, the space slugs yeah. to, like, goddamn, yeah. the suburbs of New Jersey, for Christ's sakes? And they're in Bring a, him into Davy Max territory. They're eating shawarma, apparently. Trust apparently, me, those afterwards. alien space slugs would not uh, fucking survive in my thing, at least not at the bar that uh, is across the street from my house. What, you should see that fucking place at 2 o'clock on a Saturday morning. It's like a Star Wars bar. You have a bar across from your house? Jesus Christ. Damn. It's fun. Oh, I have, I, have a, I have a bar. I've got a 7-Eleven. I got Dunkin' Donuts. Everything makes the Dave man happy. I got <laughs> cigarettes, Sour Patch Kids, and booze at awesome. any of my disposal. Hey, location, location, bam, bam, location. Bam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's why I chose my house. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm like the access to just shitty food and drink is right here. Sometimes I'll get myself a Slim Jim Pepper. One o'clock in the morning, I'll walk over there. I'll put in my earbuds. I'll take a nice little walk. Just for I'll a Slim Jim, like, huh? Slim Jim runs. Give me some fucking <laughs> Slim Jims. Uh, every time, every Friday at one o'clock, you come in, you, you, you ask for uh, Slim Jim. <laughs> give me the fucking Slim Jims, bitch! <laughs> and again with the bitch. It, it, it happens every Friday with him. Look at him. Red man's back. Redhead back with Slim Jim calling bitch. He calling me bitch again. <laughs> we have this one guy um, that he goes by Lax Man. And uh, <laughs> this guy's this, a man. He actually has it on his 7 Eleven fucking thing. He shit a lot? The, the, yeah. the Lax Man. Does he love the LA airport? I have no idea. <laughs> like so I'm like, hey, thing? Lax Man, what's up? What's up, man? He's like, you know, the pepper of 7 Eleven workers. He's always like, hey, what's up, man? I got a fucking headache. What do you want? Uh, can I get a pack of Marlboro Reds and. Just one pack? He's the he turns the tables. I have one guy who I can yell at. That's the owner. But I don't fuck around with Lax Man. He'll actually yell at me. Just one pack? You know you get a dollar off if you get two. That's talk smart. me in, talk me into it, Lax Man. Give me two packs. What about a Slurpee? You look posh, red boy. So like All the right, fine. Fucking give me a good coca, coca cherry Slurpee. Oh, fucking... Red boy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so for um for fucking uh some holiday, right? He had a mannequin head in there, and then he he put on the mannequin head the star of David. What? I don't know, but what the I fuck? informed Laxman. I go. Do you live Palestine? I, I go. Just look it out for you, Laxman. Some Jewish people might think this is a little bit fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I'm no, I'm not, you know what? I, I'm not for censorship or anything. I'm not going to, you do whatever. This is your fucking store. Yeah. But I don't know if you want to have a mannequin with a goddamn fucking Star of David carved into, a la Inglorious Bastards, oh, no. carved into his forehead. Yeah. Oh and I don't know what day. Oh, it, no, this is what it was. It was celebrating Laxman's birthday because there's this other girl who works there, Lisa. <laughs> And they're all from some, yeah, like Middle Eastern country. I go, what's the deal with the mannequin head, Talisa? She goes, oh, you know, it's Laxman's birthday, so we let him do what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> so he went, he went and found the mannequin head and carved the Star of David invite, into his fucking invite forehead. Invite Laxman on the show. <laughs> what, we would all die. If Laxman comes on the show, he's not coming without an AK-47. It's fine. I'm pretty sure that we would all be in bad trouble with Laxman. He's too hardcore for us. But anyway, um... Well, we have lots of things going on. Kevin Segretti is sitting in, and he sent a, a show prep item, Pepper. Okay. I noticed you didn't send any show prep no. items. None. Zero. It's a half hour. <laughs> we could talk. You could, that fucking lax man story took 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> we got 20 minutes left to talk Kevin about Segre five. Five. Kevin Segretti says, will Star Wars live up to the hype being uh, with the trailers coming out so far before the movie starts? Will we build it up too much in our heads, respectively? That's what Kevin Segretti uh, uh, yeah. uh, said. And Kevin, I'm going to go straight to you because I, when we had Jimmy Mack, the hero of Rebel Force Radio, who will be doing a special Watchers episode this December when the movie comes out, so look forward to that. Yes. I sent him a fucking uh, crazy high... Uh, paragraphs and paragraphs on Twitter direct message, and he just uh, and finally I ended it with, oh yeah, uh, do you want to come on uh, on in December? <laughs> and he said, hell yeah, man, yeah. I'll be there. Sweet. So um, Jimmy Mac, uh, I told him the only responsibility of a Star Wars fan is to not overhype ourselves because based on the second trailer, 
I'm ready to christen this the greatest film of all time. When has a fucking Star Wars fan not overhyped something? It's difficult to do. When you see new lightsabers, new aliens, new spaceships, it's hard not to over... But I'm going to tell you this. I am. I was not as hyped up, believe it or not, for the Phantom Menace as I and we did. And that was before we knew what the Phantom Menace was gonna. Again, I I don't hate it. I think there are good moments in the film. Yes, Jar Jar Binks is terrible. Pod we racing. all know this. Pod racing. I mm. thought the pod racing was actually good. If you're being sarcastic, I am. What about the uh, three way duel between Qui Gon, uh, 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 Darth Maul, and a young Obi Wan Kenobi? Yeah, that was cool. That was thank like, you. Like Fifteen minutes out of fucking two and a half hours. Thirty five points for me. So you like that part. You like the pod racing part. There are more no, parts. Did, we but learned about metachlorines. Metachlorines and young Anakin Skywalker's off the charts with the metachlorines. <laughs> but my point is, when I watched this new trailer that came out, yeah. I cannot tell you what went through my body. Jism, mm. blood, adrenaline, and it all shot out of my dick hole, baby. <laughs> all of it. Adrenaline. Get some wiring across there, brother. <laughs> I had so much adrenaline shooting out of my dick, Peppy. Yeah. If I just, I I just pissed. jizzed on John Travolta in Pulp Fiction, I would have woken that fucking son of a bitch back. Get the shot! Get the shot! Remember that part? Give me, give me huh? a pen! Or Uma Thurman. Uh, huh? Felt pen! Give she me was a pen. the uh, person. What'd she do? Did she, was she um, snorting heroin and that's why? Yeah, yeah. She, 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 she thought so, it was coke? She thought yeah. it was that cocaine, but it was. Uh, it was heroin? Her- heroin, heroin. And yeah. she goes, oh, fuck. OD. Start bleeding through the nose. Yeah, it was really good heroin. Is that a sign that, that you're ODing when you bleed through a nose, Peppy? Not really. Otherwise, yeah. I've OD'd a lot. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, you fucking come in with a nosebleed. Andrew WK over here. <laughs> I, yeah, hit myself in with a brick. I, I call you Chris show. Nosebleeds uh, Stanley. <laughs> That's what I call you behind your back. I love that. I'm yeah. calling to my face now. So okay, hey, matter. Nosebleed. Yeah, What's up, uh, dog? What's up, Red? <laughs> So What's up, bread man, you yeah, bread boy. Come on, hey, look at this mannequin head behind my uh, <laughs> counter here. Come on, take. Hey, if you're gonna have two marble reds, have three. You get two dollars off. All right, fine. Put it three packs of marble red. But that's it, lax man. Um. So anyway, I think the new Star Wars is going to be unbelievable. Kylo Ren is the villain, and my God, I mean, when Mark Hamill or when Luke Skywalker. Who I, or at least I can surmise, was Luke Skywalker touched R two D two in the beginning of the trailer and the combination of the music. Holy fuck, Almighty! Don't ruin it for me yet, but I haven't seen it. Sean, uh, get get the trailer. Can we do a special thing? Yeah, sure. Where I, we look at this trailer. Which one is it? I know? didn't realize it was Luke talking, or that was Luke. <laughs> oh, you are a piece of garbage. You know, I'm not watching it. Return of it the Jedi is your favorite. That's a speech at Return of the Jedi when he's sitting with Princess Leia. Yeah, I forgot. He goes, you know, my father has it. I have it. You have it. She goes, well, Luke, I can't. He's like, no. You're my sister, Leia. You're my sister. Now let's and make we, out some more. And we fucking Frenched. Gonna, we Frenched an I'm empire. Use this fucking we lightsaber. Frenched an empire, I'm use bitch. This lightsaber as a dildo. We Frenched, Leia. The second that, one is the very important one, though, Sean L. Barry. Is it the one with the Han Solo at the end? Yes. The one with Han at well, the they end. just ruined it for Roy. I haven't Here seen it. Here we go. Yet. Watch I don't this. I see it. Uh, Trails ruin movies. Doesn't for matter. Me. Listen to the music that Doesn't John Williams has specifically created for these trailers. This is what I want you to be thinking about, Roy. The music. Okay. And watch the beauty of Luke touching R two D two with his metallic hand. It's gorgeous. And I literally started crying when I saw that. And I'm not joking. I was crying. I like the first shot. The Look at this. This first shot, Star Destroyer, has. Uh, Fucking uh, crashed into the desert, which we're told is not Tatooine. Force by the way, strong in my family. We'll get to that later. Here's Luke. Look at that Vader mask. I mean, come my on. My father has it. Now listen, watch this. Luke touch R2D to do his male hand. Listen to I that music. It. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna my be so much better than anything it. any anyone's ever done. Combine every movie Martin Scorsese and Quentin have Tarantino have done, too. and it's going to shit all over them. Look at this. This is better than the collective works of Spielberg and Alfred Hitchcock combined. Look at that. Kylo Ren, Force Choke, New Empire, Daisy, New Star Destroyers. Who's that guy? Is he good or bad? Chrome Trooper, BB-8, Star Wars, Leia. Come on! Millennium Falcon! 
Probe Trooper shooting at the Falcon, and then... Chewie, we're home. Yeah! Movies. This is going to destroy everything. Tarantino, Scorsese, Spielberg, the Coen brothers, Woody Allen, Kubrick, everyone. You can all just take your movies and throw them into a big fucking pile and burn them. Burn your movies, burn your Blu-rays, burn everyone's Netflix account. There's one movie coming out in the year 2015. And that shit be called Star Wars Folk Awakens, bro. Folk Awakens? Yeah. Or whatever it's what? called. Folk Music Awakens? Star Wars Force Awakens. Oh, yeah, Folk Awakens is a Simon and Garfunkel movie. It's not going to be as good. Force Awakens, I can't see a way that this movie isn't utterly awesome. Now, getting back to the point of overhyping myself... Yeah. You make me want to kill you <sighs> and all the rest of the Star Wars. See, this fans. is the problem. Is that, wait. This is the problem when they release trailers that are that gorgeous. Is I want to stay on an even keel, like I'm pitching a perfect game as a baseball player. You've never been on an even I keel your entire you, you life. Don't wanna, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to do anything. But they show me that, and that music, that glorious John Williams music, which he conducted specific... He's conducted original music for both trailers. Mm -hmm, I can okay, tell. They, they haven't just sampled it. And the part when Luke touches R2-D2 with the metal hand. No, that was Peppy. That was sound design as well. Here's my thing. Beautiful sound design. Yeah. Not as good as Skinny Man Studios, but second to Skinny Man Studios. <laughs> um, Pepper, Luke, touched R2-D2 in that trailer. Metal hand. Yeah. Why no more flesh on the hand? Any uh, any theories? Because he got his fucking hand cut off. By he got his hand cut off in Empire Strikes Back. He also got it put back on in Empire Strikes Back, and they put flesh over it so he didn't freak out the fucking little Leia and Solo children because we knew that he's going to be an uncle down the line. So they don't want some fucking metal robot hand around. That would freak everyone out. They put skin on it. There's robots everywhere <laughs> in their entire lives. It would freak no one out if you had a fucking robot hand. I'm going to guess it was a lack of attention to detail because this fucking movie is going to be middle of the road fucking whatever. Everyone's going to fucking like it if you're a fucking Star Wars fan. And if you're not like Star Wars, you won't fucking like it. It's going to make two billion fucking dollars or everyone's going to suck each other off. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. it seems like Star Wars. someone doesn't like Star Wars. Roy, you yeah, say that, Star Wars. and I'll get He's you right. off the watchers Star in yeah, two I seconds. Fuck Star Wars. Don't fuck Star Wars. Kevin. Star Wars. No, Kevin. Kevin, do not chant. Yeah. Sean the Conductor, don't Kevin, chant. No. 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 Yeah. Minus 3,000 points. Minus 8,000 points. Minus points. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars rules. Pepper drools. Star Wars rules. Pepper drools. Come on, Kevin. Star Wars rules. Pepper drools. Yeah, come on, Shafe. Star Wars rules. Pepper drools. Yeah. Shafe's we got not, you. Shafe's not good at chanting. We got song. you, Peppy. <laughs> you drool, baby. Um. Can we please so stop you're not, talking about you're, fucking you're not, Star Wars? No, I mean, it's the major story. The, the, the trailer is a big come deal. Out for seven months. But the, the, the trailer is... It, within seconds, had it like 50 million views. Probably is now well over 150 if million views. they could put views. anything out with Star yeah. Wars on it, it would it'd be Star Wars shitting on each other's mouths. That trailer didn't get you excited. I told you the part, the parts I liked. I don't, but I don't think it told you nothing about the fucking story. It didn't fucking matter. We know what the story, some of what the story is about. The role uh, that, that I'm curious about, I didn't bring that up accidentally. I wonder why there's no more flesh on. And I don't think it's a lack of deten attention to detail because if you notice. There is so much attention There's to detail attention. that the Millennium Falcon has a different space. Has a lens flare. Has a different satellite dish on top of it. Because at the end of the Return of the Jedi, when it's flying through the core of the Death Star, the fucking Lando, even though he promised Han Solo not a scratch would occur to the Falcon, he drives and the fucking satellite dish hits the roof. 
And so there's no more satellite dish. So instead of the circular satellite dish that we all grew up with, with the Falcon, there's a rectangular satellite dish. Incredible continuity, incredible attention to detail. My point is, this is a, a decision done on purpose. I'm if wondering only why. they put that much detail into the story as they do into a fucking dish on top of the I guarantee Falcon. you they did. I guarantee you they don't. Just looking at the trailer. Shot. What? The conductor. Huh. Uh, there was nobody around to maintain the hand. He must have been in hiding or... Bam, oh. bam. Sean, the conductor, oh, who's also sitting in, like just gave us a brilliant theory. And it sort of meshes with my theory, Sean, oh. the conductor, oh. not Sean O. Oh. <laughs> in that, this is hard. I believe that Luke Skywalker, in order to not be tempted to become a Darth Vader figure himself, mm -hmm. has become Obi-Wan Kenobi-ish in terms Hermit. of Hermit hiding out in a cave somewhere. But shit's going down. They've sent R2-D2 there. Yes, the skin probably needs to be maintained. And since he's hiding out in a cave all this time, the skin simply has gone away. That's my theory, but I could be wrong. You want to hear the rumor? The mystery abounds. Oh, I like rumors. You want to hear the rumor? <laughs> yes. The rumor? That he's a fucking uh, dark clone Jedi of actual, the actual Luke Skywalker. That's one of the clone. Uh, that's that? one of the rumors out there. Interesting. I heard another weird rumor. What's that? That... Luke Skywalker, ready to get your fucking dick blown off? I think it was blown off months ago. The main guy with the mask, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. He's wearing a black glove. Yeah. Maybe Luke Skywalker's the villain. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah they kind of say... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe Luke is Kylo Ren, mm -hmm. and Ren is Luke. Did I just blow... Your fucking tops off, did I? So the bad <laughs> guy is the good guy. I guess the answer is no. <laughs> I thought that's an interesting theory that's floating out there. We don't actually see the guy's face. Now, we all suspect that it's that Adam Driver dude yeah. from the uh, Coen Brothers movie. But he movie. could have just not been in the trailer. He's just The Apprentice. Or, right. Know, or, it could be, or Adam Driver could indeed be a bad guy, Wait, but he Davis? just isn't that guy with the mask. Lou yeah. Davis guy? Yes, uh, he was one of the Mr. Kennedy brothers. They have two of the three Mr. Kennedy guys ah, are in the movie. Oh, you're right. Why is it Timberlake uh, Oscar this? Isaac is the big-time X-Wing fighter. Uh, uh, Poe, his name is Poe something. Master Poe Master po? is his name. And he's, Good uh, for him getting work. He, <laughs> yeah, after all the troubles he's been through. Well, he was in um, Girls, right? He's the same guy from Oscar Girls. Isaac was uh, Adam Driver's from Girls. That's Oscar Isaac is from, it was Lewin Davis. Right. And that new movie, Ex Machina. And he was also in, uh, I yeah. thought he was fantastic in that. What was that movie called? Um, something that had violence in it or in the title. It oh, came out, it was like a 70s a very noir violent film. Year. A very violent year, something like that. Yes. Yeah. That, I thought that movie was spectacular. I thought it was. And he was great you know what, in though? it. I thought that movie could have been so much better if they if they made it more violent. Uh, honestly, it was it was kind of like it kept, you know, leading up to I something. I like that about the, end, the film. At the end, it didn't. It kind of just like. I, I thought. Yeah. Because it wasn't about physical violence, Sean. It's inner violence. It's the violence, the inner turmoil that lives within each and every one of us. It's like the deepest That's thing why they call me Davy Mac, on the, show. the Watcher. Sting that, Roy, even though you don't have a keyboard. Yeah. Shut it off. Just like Mental singing. Mental violence. Wait, what's the singer again? Uh, never mind. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Now. I, well, I just, I'm saying, I thought the film could have been better if it, if it I felt like it ended on a kind of like a kind of All right. building to something. I, I, I love that film. I, now, lo I love the, the the cinematography, uh, everything else about it. The acting was great. It was just that the storyline. Now, there, there's a, a brand new story that's emerged in Variety that says that the director of Episode 8, Josh Trank, who is uh, directing or who has directed the Fantastic Four, yet another reboot of one of those movies, that that guy is... Uh, him and Disney have parted ways, but sources are saying that Disney probably fired him and the word is that he is he a, didn't like making money. A enough. little freak who actually is over his head. That during the Fantastic, he's only 31 years old. He's probably 29 or 30 when he's making Fantastic Four. And people would ask him questions and want to know what's going on and how do we set up this shot, that shot. And he simply didn't have the answers That's to awesome. the questions and would then hide in the trailer. If I was Disney, I'd definitely let him make the <laughs> as to see what the fuck yeah. he came out as. So that's, again, the gossip is that they li like literally... So, by the way, this, this does not spell uh, good news for Fantastic Four. 
I almost want to see it. Good. I don't know. I, I've never been into them as superheroes. Never was into the comic no. books. Never been into the that various first, film first, versions. That first movie was well, shit. That, that, they're, they're all bad. The Trank, the Trank guy was supposed to. He was uh, slated to, to direct the uh, Boba Fett one, Boba Fett origin story movie. Well, it's, it, it, it's murky. I've I've heard Boba Fett, but I've also heard Episode Eight. I, I heard because J.J. Abrams is doing obviously this one, and then J.J. Abrams is going to step back, a la George Lucas in the original trilogy. Executive so producer can make a better film. Executive producer, be on the set, be a fucking ear, but then let someone else direct. Uh, that's what George did with Empire and Jedi, and uh, you're thinking J.J. Abrams is going to do that, and he had this Josh Trank fella picked. And now uh, Trank, apparently, he knows how to direct movies the way fucking British Joel knows how to direct movies. Well, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll tell you what. I would hire British Joel over Josh Trank any day of the week, twice on Sunday. What do you think about that, Roy? I'll take that with a bag right. of salt. Or with a bag of salt, he's sure. going to take yeah. it. All right. Um, so have, how about that? I have a question. Yes. Inherent Vice, have you seen it? Uh, yeah, of course. P.T. Anderson. What do you think Joaquin about? Phoenix. What do you think about that? Loved it. I was really confused. It was like a, a fun... I, I, I put it in the Lebowski category was of like, a- well, I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but I do know I like the vibe. <laughs> yeah. I like the way <laughs> this movie vibe feels. Movie. Yeah. It was just a fun fucking movie. I really it felt like the 70s. It, there were certain parts where I... Just was unsure of what what the plot was doing. Well, well hang on, well, I didn't care. I was thinking I have a theory on it. That genre of film, I'm not that familiar with it, but it is a genre where these, uh, you know, you, you could call it a noir. It's a it's but, a it's a trippy noir. That's like what the Lebowski was. But were those, psychedelic but, film noir? But those '70s types of films, like that, made. Uh, were they so just hard to follow and poorly made that this is like an homage to a, a no, 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 no. It's based on a book. When I say is noir, really? I mean, yeah. yeah, there's crime involved. It's often, it's like, uh, even though it might underworld not... Underworld types. Yeah, characters. underworld. There, there might not be a detective, but the hero, the dude was the detective right. in Big Lebowski as Joaquin Phoenix is essentially playing the role of the detective. Yeah. That's a proper film noir. I just threw in a psychedelic thing. You're talking to a guy who took eight film classes, baby. Come on, Kevin Segretti. Huh? How many film classes did you take, Pep? How many? Two. Two. I took four times as many. And you're in fucking radio. That's right. (laughs) Haven't you seen Don Twiddle's I Make Movies, baby? I know how to direct. Hey, fucking Disney, put Davey back in charge of fucking uh, episode eight. I guarantee you, I'll come $30 million under budget. Why? I like to Ed Wood shit. One and done. One take, in and out. Uh, we, if we have a new uh, a, a sequel to Chums coming out ever, one and done. Yep. One goddamn take, in and out. Dick That's how out. we roll. Dick DMZ, yeah. Don Twiddles, whatever the fuck you want. Let's do Pete, a couple Pete, St. Patty's Day Pete, forget it. Onesies, dunsies. That's how we roll. I fucking finish my movies on time, under budget. <laughs> and poorly. And you know what they are? They're box office gold, Dad. But I haven't seen any actual money. I just in my head pretend that I win Oscars for short for short movies. I know, I know you're deluded. I get and, it. And what I like to do sometimes in the YouTube description is say Academy Award winning director Dave McDonald presents. Someone might believe it. <laughs> just just I think, in case, like there's some like foreigner yeah. or some like yeah some some guy from oh, fucking you, you, Hungary. You see this thing named Chums? I guess, <laughs> I guess some uh, some Academy <laughs> some Oscar winner. Wow! <laughs> so an Oscar winner directed Chums, and as far as I can tell, there's a laugh track and just men. Touching another man, yeah. and that's the whole premise of said I video. I remember that one. Said short film. So I don't know what to believe. Let's move on. Pepper, <laughs> moving on. Re- reboot Indiana Jones. You like it or love it? I never liked Indiana Jones. Fuck you. Are you kidding? The third one was my favorite. Well, Last Crusade's good. I got no problems with that. But you take that over Raiders. Did he live forever or no? Indy? Yeah. No, once you get out of that cave, you, you give up all immortality. You, you can't cross the seal. Exactly right. Rewatch hate, the fucking movie. I that one, too. I thought, I thought what I about Raiders? Right. Yeah, I don't care. Who would you choose to reboot this movie? The guy from Guardians of the Galaxy or Bradley Cooper? Those are the only two names oh, I'm hearing. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. I like Chris Pratt better, too. I like Bradley Cooper, but Chris Pratt I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of after Guardians of the Galaxy. In fact, the guy fucking might as well have been Han Solo for all intents and purposes. I mean, Indiana Jones. He might be a little Pepper, where are you going? I'm why are you leaving? Because I told you at 8.30 I had to leave at 8.30. It's okay, now 8.30. Bye, Pepper. Bye, bye, Pepper. Now, Sean O'Barry, Roy Schaefer, Harder, who would be your choice? Quickly. God, I'm, I'm, going oh, yeah. I'm going with Pratt. Pratt? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I love Chris Pratt, but I feel like he's a little too goofy, though, still. Need be, someone like so you would go Bradley Cooper? 
Oh, for Indiana Jones? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper, too? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if I believe Bradley Cooper either. Uh, what about a George Clooney? Is he too old now? Yeah. Oh, he's way too old. Come on. He's too old? Yeah. He's old. He's, he's, he can only think. I'm, I'm just trying to think of that type of guy. Robert Downey Jr., no. no. Too old. He's Iron too, Man, he's been doing there, too done many that. Things, yeah. Yeah. Christian Bale. Christian Bale. I don't feel Maybe. like he has a sense of humor. I feel like Christian, B- although he would he would add a, 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 a bit of like intensity. Did you say yeah. Christian Bale? That was yeah. you, Kevin yeah. Segretti. Kevin yeah. Segretti. Get right in that microphone, Kevin. I think his mic's off. Say it again, Kevin. No. Yeah, his, yeah, his microphone's mic off. off. You shut off his microphone. No, Actually, I said that, Dave. Say say it, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. No, Kevin. Christian Se- Bale. Christian Bale. There we go. Kevin Segretti got in Christian Bale. Sorry. Well, I tell you what, that's not a bad choice either. Mm. The answer is Chris Pratt, and because I make the rules, I get all the points. One thousand for me. Minus 800 for all three of you, including Sean the Conductor and British Joel. Minus 300 points for both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Thank you, Roy. <laughs> You're welcome, Dave. Uh, Fast and Furious 7. It's a movie I haven't, I seen. I haven't seen, and I'm not going to lie. One, one I, know, I know we're supposed to be the watchers. Yeah. I haven't seen one second of any of the Fast and Furious films, but this one is the now fifth highest grossing movie of all Maybe we fucking should watch time. It. Really? I don't even know how that's possible. It's well over a billion dollars I'll, for I'll, Fast and Furious. On. I'll tell you exactly why. Why? Because the guy died? Exactly. Yeah, I know. We are exactly such why. a disgusting, weird, morbid, well, morbid uh, society. Look, it was a good franchise. They made it to eight. You know what I mean? Like it, it's Seven. Obvious- but that was seven, but I think there's still an eight. There's going to be out. an eighth one now? I think so. I think How, what are they going to do? Are they going to CGI this guy they, into the fucking eighth yeah, movie? They get, they they're going to hologram him? Exactly. He's going to be like Obi-Wan Kenobi right. in goddamn Jedi. He's <laughs> going to be wild. a fucking force ghost. <laughs> they got him. <laughs> sitting there in blue goddamn fucking lightning the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Well, Luke, what I told you was actually correct from a certain point of view. You know Luke wanted to smack <laughs> yeah. him. Of course. From a certain point of view. Well. Luke, you'll find that many of the truths we cling to in this universe are from a certain point of view. You fucking lied to me! You told me Darth Vader killed my father. Not that my father is Darth Vader, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I'm surprised Luke Skywalker kept it together for as long as he did in Jedi. Well, he probably would have liked Luke. From a certain point of view, Luke, I mean, <laughs> what I'm saying is, uh, uh, yeah, Obi-Wan could do, no, be doing the old neck uh, fucking thing. <laughs> I think he, he popped he would, the button. <laughs> he would have killed him, but he was already dead. You know? I know. Can you get take a lightsaber to a Force ghost? I would have fucking re-decapitated him. Yeah. A la Darth oh. Vader in episode four. Oh, Luke. That Luke. has no effect on me. Now. Luke, I mean, your lightsaber passes right through me. <laughs> yeah. You stupid Padawan, you. We have silly ter- little boy. Yes. We have terrible old man British accents, <laughs> all of us. Hey, Luke, I uh, have no... Actually, uh, yes, British Joel, you, you have an English accent. Try and sound like Sir Alec Guinness here. And and well, th- that th- who's Sir Alec he said to who's Sir Alec Kidd. <laughs> Don't right. even worry Sit about down. it. Sit Sit just say this, good, Luke. J- just say, Luke. What I told you is true from a certain point of view. Luke, what I told you is true from a certain point of view. Excellent. Wow. See, Beautiful. you sound exactly like Alec Guinness, and that's why British Joel is a part of the show. Seriously, Thank you. that sounded exactly like him. Like Hamlet. And uh, yeah, and 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 it was all bullshit. It was all fucking bullshit. I didn't care for it, Kevin. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, is that it? Uh, there is uh, one other. There's a couple other. Th- oh, fuck it. Let's just end it. We've done a lot tonight. We've done a Davy Max Sports program. We've done an episode of The Watchers. Yeah. We've done so much stuff that we all should applaud for ourselves <laughs> because we deserve it. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? That's what Roy Schaefer says. <laughs> That's his go to phrase that he stole from the Warriors. And refuses to give up. And I can't even bring up Steph Curry or the Golden State Warriors now without him saying, Ken, you did it. So this is going to be a long NBA playoff season, I have a feeling. For Roy Shaver, Hunter, Charlotte Barry, Grizzly Peppers, Dan, the Kevin, the Karate, Bruce, Joel, Sean, the Conductor, Eric Z, Eastside, Dave McDonald saying good night, watchers.